friends and family. So we are gonna be making a cheesy tuna noodle casserole. And I've already got the water on the stove. I'm going to turn it on to high because I want it to start to boil. And I'm gonna be doing about 12 ounces of the wide egg noodles. You can use small egg noodles. You can use whatever you choose, but this is my choosing is egg noodles. So I'm gonna get that going. And you guys always wanna salt your water like it's the ocean. This is what I've learned from all my Italian friends. This is what you do. You always salt, salt, salt your pasta water heavily because it want, you wanna give the flavoring in the, in the um, pasta as it's cooking. And I always like to add a little bit of the chicken bouillon, and I know it's gonna be a tuna noodle casserole, noodle casserole, but this is just for extra flavoring, like I said. So I'm gonna get this all mixed in. And then we're going to allow this to come to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, then you pour your noodles in. You don't wanna put your noodles in while it's cold because if you put your noodles in while it's cold, then your noodles will turn to mush. I'm also gonna add a little spritzel of oil. Don't add too much because when you add your flavoring and stuff to the noodles, the pasta noodles, you want all of that good stuff to stick to it and if you add it in there, it will not stick to it. So we're gonna get this boiling and once this boils, then we're gonna come back and I will show you what to do. All right, you guys, as you can see, my water is boiling, so I'm gonna add my noodles in here, and I'm going to let these cook. My water kind of cooked down. I had a friend that came to see me really quick, but um, my water kind of cooked down a little bit, so I'm gonna get these pasta noodles cooked, and then we will begin the rest of the meal from there. All right, so I wanted to show you guys all the rest of the ingredients that you're gonna need for this. You're gonna need a half a cup of milk, one can of cream of mushroom soup, two cans of tuna, either some mixed veggies, frozen mixed veggies or frozen peas, and then some cheese to top it with. Now I'm making a bigger platter of it because I have um, teenagers uh, that I'm feeding, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to use four cans of tuna, one whole cup of milk, and two cans of cream of mushroom. I'm gonna open everything, and then I am going to come back so I can show you guys how we assemble it. All right, so I got my casserole dish. I'm gonna spray it just so that my stuff doesn't really stick to it. I mean, I know I'm not gonna get it perfect, but give it a little spritz. And then I'm going to add my noodles in here. I kept them inside of the water. Uh, well, I put them in the broth. I'll bring you over here, just so that way it would keep them nice and moist. So I'm gonna add them over here. Let me see if I can get a bigger spoon. Here we go. All right. So, I'm gonna add all these in here. I am going to dump in the, the milk. And then I'm gonna dump in the soup mixes and the tuna. Put that over here. So let me get the soup mix in here. Right. 
Okay. So I got the soup is the soup mixes in there. Now we're gonna oh I dropped my thing. Now we are going to do the tuna. Okay. As I said, I'm making more than the recipe calls for. That's my oven saying, hey, I'm preheated. Okay. So now that we got that all in there, we're going to give this a good mix. Get it all mixed in there. And you can make some rolls to go on the side of this. Some biscuits. You can make them homemade. Oops, I dropped a noodle. Hmm, good to eat it. Okay. It looks delicious already. I love tuna noodle casserole. It all. Let me use my spoon. Ah! I don't want to spill it. Okay, you can see the mushrooms in there. Now I'm going to add a little. garlic powder and onion powder not much I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top so I can mix it in that's onion powder do some garlic powder I'm gonna get that nice and mixed in okay let me get the veggies. These are frozen. Remember, put frozen veggies in. So that way they cook while this is cooking. So, now that that is all mixed in, we're gonna top it with some cheese, and I found a bag of cheese in my freezer. All right, so I'm gonna cut this open, and like I said, I had an extra bag of cheese in my freezer, so I'm just gonna go through, and I'm gonna sprinkle it over the top. You do cheddar cheese is what it calls for, or you can do any kind that you have. This is what I have on hand, so this is what I'm gonna use. So, all right, and then you are going to put this in the oven and you are gonna cook this for 20 minutes. So, I'm gonna put this in the oven and I'm gonna cook this for 20 minutes. And we will be back in 20 minutes. All right, I went ahead and put um, biscuits on mine and I topped it with butter. So this is how it is looking right now and I am incredibly ready to eat it. I will show you how it looks when we scoop it. How's it? All right, here it is. It looks absolutely delicious. It tastes even better than it looks. I hope you guys try it. And I think it was well worth putting the biscuit on top. All right, guys, have a good one.